Well, I'm not scared of Halloween, are you? Well, I'm not scared of anything that goes boo. Well, I'm not scared of trick-or-treaters. I'm not scared of big death eaters. I'm not scared of Halloween, are you? I'm just going to go and ask my mum what she thinks about this look. Because my mum's, like, not into Halloween at all. So, <laughs> let's go see what she thinks. Okay, um, what do you guys think about this, um, this look? What's that for? <laughs> what is that? It's uh, my Halloween look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? <laughs> I'm a reindeer. <laughs> Why the black nose? Oh, Why the black? It's supposed to be a fawn. So the fawn has like a button nose. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it looks like a fawn. Do you like it? I think the dots are wrong. What do you mean wrong? Um, I don't know. A fawn does have dots, doesn't it? Yeah. So my mum just made a really good point. Apparently a fawn doesn't have spots on its face. It only has spots on its back and its butt. So technically I have a fawn's body on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared of Halloween, are you? The first thing I did was just take a plastic headband and I drilled two holes on either side. Then I just took a metal coat hanger and stuck it through the holes. I found the metal coat hanger was very hard to bend so I just went to the hardware store and I picked up some bendable wire. You guys can use any wire you would like and all I'm doing is just twisting it around each other and that holds the shape really well. You can do as many or as few of these points as you would like, it's completely up to you. Next up, I actually took the inside of a pillow and I started taking the fluffy bits out and I used that to wrap around the metal bits. In hindsight, I wish I didn't do this step because when I was trying to sand down the expanding foam, the fluffy bits kept sticking out so I highly recommend you don't do this step just because it makes the whole process a lot harder and also you can't sand down the expanding foam if you've done this because the fluff keeps sticking out the next day. Once the expanding foam is dry you can just take a basic kitchen knife and carve away at the shape you would like. This bit is super easy it's just a little bit time consuming and I found that because I used the inside of a pillow the fluffy bits kept sticking through the expanding foam so I would highly recommend you skipping that step and maybe making the antlers out of just the metal wire or making it out of cardboard. So because I had little gaps and holes, I just had to add on another few layers of the expanding foam. And you guys can do as many or as few layers as you think you need. It's completely up to you. I just wanted it to be covered. Once you're happy with the expanding foam, you can just go back, let it dry for five hours, and then you can just carve again to the shape you need. This bit is quite simple, it's just time consuming, I'm sure you guys would do fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint the antlers, this bit is so easy, I just wish I didn't do the inside of the pillow because I wasn't able to sand down the antlers. So if you guys can see on screen here, if I didn't put the fluff in it, I would have been able to sand down the expanding foam so then the finish would have been a smooth finish. So I'm sure you guys would do that better than I did in this part. But yeah, this is a really fun and relaxing bit of the project and I'm sure you guys will be fine. And before we start weaving the web, you can just let the paint dry. I've just grabbed my antlers. This one day project has turned into probably about a four day project at the moment and it is taking absolutely forever. I had to do two coats of paint with this and it still kind of looks really rough. But I'm going to wrap some yarn and ribbon around it. What Halloween wants, Halloween gets. So yeah, let me go on to the next step. All I'm doing now is just taking plain black ribbon and a hot glue gun and I'm just going to wrap this around the headband. Now that we've wrapped the headband in ribbon, all I've done is wrap my string that I'm going to weave the web with onto a chopstick. And now we're going to start by weaving the web. 
So I'm just going to tie a triple knot onto this part of the antler at the moment. So once you've got your triple knot, I'm just going to take some nail polish, so clear nail polish, and just drop it on the knot. So all this does is it helps when the knot dries that it won't actually slip out because one of the worst things is when you're weaving your web and one of the knots come undone and then your whole web unravels and it's not a great feeling. So once you've done that, we're just going to pull the string down, around, and then with this loop you have here, you're just going to pull it through. And we're just going to secure that onto the knot we just made. So if you guys haven't weaved a dream catcher web before, you should be fine with this, but if this is a little bit confusing, I'll have a card pop up over here. And that video you can find on my channel, and that just is a beginner on how to weave a drone catcher it's a lot easier so you just go down around and through so we're just going to lift the headband up so down around and then you pull it through and then you just secure it like that so that's your first loop this one right here so we're going to do that again and through And that's your second loop. Now you can do as many or as few loops as you would like. The smaller they are, the more detailed your web will be. The larger the spaces, the more simple your um, web will be. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the dragon now. We're just going to work up onto this one here. So now we're going to do the last one up here. So I'm just going to be careful because I don't want to break the actual antlers because even though it's in foam, it's still a bit fragile. So I'm just going to put that one on there. Now for this one, I really don't want this one to slip because if this loop over here falls off the antler on this side, we're actually going to skip some stitches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that one quite tight. And then just under this loop here, we're going to go through it. And then we're going to come through the loop we just made, just like that. So you're still pinching this loop down. And then all we're going to do is just pull a knot on there. So all that's doing is just making sure that your loop stitch isn't going to slip. So now, now comes the more challenging bit, but I'm sure you guys will be fine. I'm just going to do two anchors on this one just because I do not want this to break. So I'm just going to do another anchor on a different side. Alright, now we're going to go across to the other side of this antler. And we are going to go like this. So... Let's just pull it. So you're just going to loop it around. So then we're going to go like this and then pull it down. And then just make sure that that is quite tight, but not too tight that it will break. And then we'll just do that again. With this loop, we're just going to make sure that that's secured like a knot. There we go. So once you've done that, we're just going to anchor it again. So anchoring simply means that you've got one loop here, but you're just going to double anchor it. So you're just going to go like this. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just make sure that it's very secure and it's not just pulling on one particular point. You want it to pull on a few different points so it distributes the tension. I'm just going to take clear nail polish and secure both of these sides so I don't want anything to be slipping. Now we're going to go and continue this web. So don't 
overthink too much with this um, there's no right or wrong way to weave a drone catcher you can do it in any pattern as long as it's a weaved web So once you got to the bottom of this, so this is where we started our um, weaving. So this is the first loop here. So we're just going to put the string under this loop over here. Once you've done the loop over here, we're going to do the loops across here. So the basic rule we're going to go with is to try keep the spacing that we have here on these ones. So we're going to do multiple loops onto this long string. So this is actually quite good because you can see how a drone catcher loop is made. So you've got your string, you put it against, you pull it down and you pull it through. And that's just how a loop looks. I'm going to take this stitch here and we're going to actually go through there. Just remember if you guys would like to see a basic tutorial and maybe try that before you try this, you are welcome to do that as well. So don't rush yourself, take your time and I'm sure you will get through it fine. The Legend of the Deer Woman The Deer Woman is a sacred but dangerous spirit in the physical form of a shapeshifter. She hides in your blind spot and watches your every move. One look into her eyes will enchant you and unleash your seven deadly sins leading you to death. Although she is usually associated with a bad omen, she is also a reminder not to become bound in your own desires. The Deer Woman is a curious spirit and will often attend powwows and join in in the dances. If she is recognised for what she truly is, she is said to run away and disappear. This is an all-ages brief summary of the terrifying legend, and if you would like to hear the full story of the Deer Woman, you can check out the link in the description box of this video. So once you've weaved your web, I'm just going to finish this off with a double knot. So just really simple, just going to cut the string short and yeah, just do a knot and seal it with some nail polish. So this is how it's looking so far. So, oh, this is, this is turning out so much um, bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like I just wanted like these little antlers, but now they all like massive but it's kind of cool so I was thinking just to like attach some like hanging things um, so I'll quickly put them on some string and then we will attach them and I'm just going to tie them on with knots so it's not going to be complicated you guys will be fine with that and you can attach anything you would like I've even got little roses if you want to do roses on the front or or whatever you would like um, you can be really creative at this point I also have uh, like, I don't know, like a headband that I could maybe like take apart with like wet paint over there. So it is the moment of truth. I am going to put on the antlers, or well, try them on, and hopefully they stay on and actually fit. I'm looking at them now and they are huge. They are massive, so let's just try them on. Oh my gosh, they are epic. So next up, I want to do my fawn makeup. So I was thinking of doing something like this, except I'm quite terrible at doing makeup. So I'm going to give it my best shot. This body art paint I bought last year. Focus on for you guys. And I'm just going to use the white one and I've got the black one as well. That's what I'm going for. I'm just going to take some white paint dab it on my hand okay so I need to get some circles so I'm gonna go on my mole <laughs> and I'm just gonna make some dots think like a fawn <laughs> okay 
let's just let's just roll with it. I actually don't have a backup idea. Like this is this is the idea. Oh, I just got in my hair. I'm like, does this look like a fawn to you guys? I don't know. This is this is as good as it's gonna get. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna go over all my blemishes in the white paint. Okay, so she's got like a nose thing going on. Looks like, how do these girls do this? I'm just looking in this mirror here. Um, oh no, I've got white on it. Oh, oh, it doesn't look half bad. Okay, okay, I'm excited. Okay, my nose is getting really big now. So I'm just gonna go with it. Am I going to do the mouthy thing? So I'm just gonna stop because it looks half okay right now and if I keep going it's just gonna get worse. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe down below. All the items used in this video are in the description box down below so you guys can check that out. And I hope you guys have a lovely Halloween. Bye.